this is it. Nobody's been in here in 40 years. This should be fun. Whoa. I'm Larry Wood. I was the senior designer for Hot Wheels for 40 years, and this is the cage where I put everything in that I needed to use for reference later on. So every time I did a car or something, I would put it in here in pieces or parts or even sets would be in here for file for later reference. So come on in, and this will be the only time anybody's going to see this. Okay, perfect example. There's a Dodge Ram truck. Uh, obviously, the body and the interior, and we have the chassis. Uh, the Bronco, Fire Eater, Ferraris, we've got a few Ferraris if you need them. All the parts you need to, to do the Bugatti if we ever decide to redo the Bugatti. Oh, tow truck, I wonder if this is my tow truck. Yeah, look at that. Larry's tow truck in black. Oh, the collectors would love that. Okay, well, let's go back inside now and see if we can find the real thing. Now, all you collectors are probably going nuts right now because look at this, boxes of every car we ever did. This is mostly in the 70s right here in this cage. Uh, we were talking about the Ramblin' Wrecker a few minutes ago, and I noticed it's right here, and this is what the Ramblin' Wrecker actually looked like when it was painted the right color, it was white. Now this is the second series. Uh, the first series I had my phone number on it, and I got so many calls I took the phone number off. 1969 <laughs> Chaparral race cars we ever did, um, and here is the wing that goes with it, that goes on the top of it, so it's pretty cool to see that. 1969. Oh, one of our famous cars, the Red Baron. You just do not see these cars anymore. This is a Red Line Red Baron. Uh, it was a real car we copied and it became a monogram model and of course a hot wheel. Very famous. Kids love this one. And we have more. Uh, this is uh, 86, 85, 84, different cars. Uh, oh, obviously some of the loose. This is the uh, Hot Wheels uh, crackups. And, and I did a series of cars that when they crashed, kids love crashing. When they crashed, they had a damaged body panel. We are designing cars for kids, so the animals were pretty successful with the whole series of animal cars. They lasted a long time and there's still animal cars in the line because kids love the animals. So this is a series of cars we did uh, and what happens is you have a lever on the bottom and you pull the lever back, latch it, and then when the car runs into something, the lever flips up forward and the car takes off and flips through the air. So that was kind of a fun series, another set of cars. I figured most kids would like to see a cop car flipping through the air, so that's why I did the police car. So the reason I did the citation is it was during the gas crisis in the 80s and uh, marketing said we should do cars that people were going to buy because there was a gas crisis. Guess what? Nobody bought the cars. Nobody bought the hot wheels either. So we, we tried and we did it, but we went back to V8s and Chevy powered stuff later on. So it made a lot more sense. Uh, these are the wheels. Uh, when you're doing a mock-up or you're doing a, a you know, prototype or something, you need wheels. You come over here, you grab the box, whatever it says. Five hole large wheel, and you have your, all the wheels you need. Silver wheels, uh, skinny wheels, fat wheels, extra large wheels. Boy, we've done every wheel known to man. It's called Hot Wheels. Okay, we got boxes of stuff here. Let's uh, go to the top, see what we can find. Nobody else has gone to the top for a few years, so this might be the rare one. Oh, nice. These were the uh, sets that we did back then made out of Hong Kong and, and in fact there's a the back of the package shows the different sets. Okay, what do we got here? These were uh some these had sparklers in them so when you pull back you pull the back and when you let go it fired the car forward and sparks came out. Uh, hot shots, they were called hot shots. Probably um, mid 70s, something like that. Never did a chrome one, but it's kind of cute. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, cool. This is steering. Uh, these are the uh, 
trucks, and they had a steering wheel in the back, and I'd steer the truck. You could drive it from the back. Well, let's see what else we have here. Well, oh, cool. A box of scorchers. These were the uh, cars with pullback motors. Uh, Mid 70s, I think. You pull them back and you let them go, and they went, you know, went across the room. What do we got here? Okay, um, just a box of Hot Wheels. There's the crack ups, there's the hot ones, there's the ultra hots. So this is just no rhyme or reason, which is what I would do with that box of, uh, of different cars we've made through the years. Well, there's the Masters of the Universe truck. That's kind of weird. In the wrong package, work horses. Whoa! An unopened box of 144 Hot Wheels. If this was the right year, this would be worth a lot of money. One of them just sold, uh, 1968, unopened box, just sold for $30,000. You know, I think I'll just stay in here for another 40 years. <laughs> See you.